The perimeter wall at Runcorn's ground collapsed as Hull City fans were cheering their first goal of the match. As the crowd surged forward, the barrier gave way, with bricks and concrete trapping between 40 and 50 people. Four spectators were injured and a woman police constable broke her leg. I just saw the full, was it 30 yards of stand? It just went like a pack of cards and um, there was just everybody piled up on top of each other. It just was not fit for league crowds and that's what we are. We are a, a league team with league fans and that, that was not a ground fit for league fans. Runcorn, which normally plays in the Vauxhall Conference League, had drawn Hull City, a second division team, in the first round of the FA Cup. Critics say with nearly a thousand fans travelling from Humberside, the ground wasn't suitable. But Runcorn's secretary has defended the club's safety record and blames a handful of visiting fans. They caused trouble in the town, they congregated in one bunch of the ground, they were asked to move on to spread out, they wouldn't do so. And when they scored, they surged forward and down it went. Now, all right, I will accept that it shouldn't have gone down, but the fact still, it, it did, and that obviously has to be investigated totally and thoroughly. Hull City's chairman has welcomed the FA's inquiry. He says facilities at Runcorn were appalling and now believes non-league sides should be forced to play at recognised grounds. I think the state of the ground is, is almost diabolical. I've never seen a ground like it. Um, the actual metal railings um, that were attached or bolted onto the concrete that formed the wall was loose all the way around. It did seem as though they were not ready for this kind of support. Officials from the FA will revisit Runcorn on Wednesday to complete their inquiries. The cup time, meanwhile, will be replayed a week tomorrow at a nearby ground approved by the Football Association.